welcome to Lakshu's Chetinadu kitchen. Here I'm going to show you variety of Chetinadu recipe for YouTube users. Today I'm going to show you Rungakai and raw mango samba. That's called drumsticks and raw mango samba. You can also visit me at my blog spot http colon backslash lecturesdiary.blogspot.com for more recipes. Come on, let's start. To prepare dal, you need half cup of tua dal. Two dump sticks washed and cut into 2 inches of size half raw mango cut into cubes 5 or 6 shallots or 1 medium sized onion sliced finely 1 medium sized tomato chopped Five or six garlic flakes peeled and crushed using a ding chick. Two tablespoons of cumin seed. One teaspoon of asafoetida. Two green chilies. Slit halfway. Two strands of curry leaves, two red chilies, half a teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of fenugreek, a small lemon sized tamarind. Preparation. Wash the tua dal with water. Drain the washed water. To this, add a cup of water and add curry leaves, crushed garlic, onions. Tomatoes, green chilies, cumin seeds, as a fortida, and turmeric powder. Now, using a pressure cooker, cook the dal. Cook the dal for five whistles and set it aside. Soak the tamarind in a little bit of water, crush it, and extract the tamarind paste. We are going to add this at the end of the sambar to give it a soft taste. Remove the cooked dal from the cooker. Now we are going to boil it using a pan. Keep the fire in medium and try to boil it without adding water. Try to smash it with a ladle. To this, add the vegetables one by one, dump sticks, raw mangoes, and Two teaspoons of samba powder of any variety and salt to taste. Mix it well. To this, add two cups of water and allow it to boil. 
little oil on medium so close the lid and boil it for five minutes when the vegetable is cooked halfway add the tamarind extract and allow the samba to boil open for another three minutes when it is done it's time for seasoning a medium fire to this add oil add mustard seed cumin seeds fennel seeds red chilies and curry leaves when it sputters remove from fire and add it to the boiled sambar mix it well and garnish it with chopped coriander leaves sambar is ready to be served with plain rice it can be used for idlis and dosas have a try